I want OR4 if it's available. It is. Right. And I would love Cindy and Heather as my surgical nurse. I will schedule them for you. Okay, awesome, thanks. Mm -hmm. Hey, what do you got? A uh, car versus motorcycle. I guess he didn't see what hit him. Well, hopefully they're wearing a helmet. Uh, he would be in the morgue if he hadn't been. I mean, we're still looking at serious head trauma, multiple lumbar vertebrae fractures, punctured lung, broken ribs, and the guy's ugh, he's a mess. Wow, sounds like a good opportunity for the team of Drake Niles. Uh, thanks, uh, but I've got it covered. Steve is scrubbing in. Okay, then wait, a, wait, wait a damn minute. Dante, is Olivia okay? Yeah, you know, I mean, it was just a pretty hard stretch for everyone. She kept the secret of my paternity for half her life. Now that it's out, it's not above Sonny to use her to get to me. Right, well, the good news is that your man's not really pliable, so... No, but she's human. I mean, we're talking about the great love of her life, father of her only child. Her only child? You mean her son that walks on water? Because that is exactly how she thinks of you. No, the good thing is, most of the time, she sees Sonny for the piece of garbage that he actually is. Piece of garbage? Wow, you're not a fan of your father, are you? He personifies everything I'm against. He's an egomaniacal murderer. He makes everyone's lives around him worse. I mean, he's the reason I became a cop, literally. You remember Lieutenant Paletti? Yeah, of course I do. He took in all the neighborhood misfits and gave them a place to stay, took care of them. Yeah, well, I was one of those misfits. Sonny had him gunned down like a rabid dog. Sonny is responsible for Lieutenant Paletti's death? Murder. And I vowed that day to dedicate my life to getting guys like Sonny off the street. And then I find out he's my father. Some kind of cosmic joke. Tell me about it. You keep vaguely accusing me of things, I'm starting to get a little offended. Come on, Lucky, you gotta admit. You're quite the enigma. Luke Spencer's son. So you grew up with... Let's say at least a healthy distaste for the law, right? Yet you became a cop. You grew up with Sonny as an uncle figure, f fishing trips with Sonny and Luke, turning to Sonny when you fell out with your old man. What makes you think you know me so well? Lulu, she told me all about your history with Sonny. How you had left home when you were, what, 15, 16? Huh, Sonny? Took you under his wing, touched a couple things, you're doing odd jobs for him, and then next thing you know, you're living with Jason Morgan. Yeah, I rented a, a room above his bike shop. Still, it's a quite cozy arrangement with no criminals, huh? And now your sworn duty is to keep these criminals off the street. You just, you're a tough read, you know? It makes you wonder. See, that's the problem when you spend too much time overanalyzing, dissecting other people's motives. Your mind goes all haywire with conspiracy theories to make reality a little easier to live with. I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> you lost me. I'll take your sister, for instance. Claudia got a kid shot in the head, but you've, you've practically canonized her. I mean, you've made Claudia the reason for everything you do. Turned her into a victim when the truth is much much more complicated than that, isn't it? Look, man, I don't have a problem telling you exactly what you want to know. Sonny is a mobster, and so are you. I'm a cop, sworn to uphold the law, and I take that oath seriously. So if you continue down this path of, of inciting war against Sonny to avenge Claudia, an actual war breaks out, not only will I go after Sonny, I'm coming after you. Does that clarify things for you, Johnny? The truth is, I got my ass handed back to me, trusting law enforcement. Before and after, I found out Dante was a cop. Because, see, I, I believe that if Dante had a choice between a badge and his brother, he would choose his family, but I was wrong. And now I'm paying the price, but it cost Michael most of all. So I'm not really too keen going down that road. You called this meeting. I didn't. 
Yeah, you're right, because you, you, you've been all about career advancement. Ambition is a powerful motivator. But the fact is, I'm a better get than Johnny. And that's exactly what you want, right? You bring me in, you're, you're on the fast track. Mayor Walsh, Governor Walsh, the possibilities are endless. So yeah, it occurs to me that you could be humoring me to make an end run. You're absolutely right. It's a definite possibility. So again, why summon me? Why? Because as, as much as I, I, I shouldn't trust you, there's a compelling reason why I have to. Michael. Come on, hit me. What are you, what are you, a little bitch? You can't hit me? What the hell is that all about? You see that? You just reacted out of anger. It's coming from here, not here. It's gonna make you easy to beat. You gotta shut down and detach. You watch the other guy and let him make the mistakes.